He's a future Hall of Famer and one of the best players in the NBA, but his trade to the Lakers now lands him on his fourth team in four years, leading some people to wonder why he moves around so much. Now, Wizards and Capitals owner Ted Leonsis had this to say about the departure of Russell Westbrook. Quote, we had a superstar player with the Wizards. He had an opportunity and wanted to be traded to the Lakers. And I was dealing with that as we were announcing Alex. I couldn't help but self-reflect on what a difference it is. He was a great player in Russell Westbrook. He played at OKC, wanted to be traded, went to Houston, wanted to be traded, came to DC, wanted to be traded, and is now in LA. He's an unbelievably great person and an unbelievably great player, but that's the difference between the NBA and the NHL, I suppose. And I just want to clarify, when I said they were announcing Alex, they were talking about Alex Ovechkin, also a superstar in his own league. So. Okay, Max. Oh, no, no, no. Let's start with CM here. Are Leonsis' comments on Westbrook fair or are they foul? They're foul. They're all the way foul. It's out of bounds. Those are uncalled for. Let's not forget, if you want to talk about loyalty, like Max, you love basketball. Let's talk about loyalty. Russell Westbrook is loyal. He stayed in OKC for 11 years. The only reason he left is because everybody else was gone. Right? Then, okay, then let's talk about loyalty again in Washington. Let's skip over the, the last – let's skip over Houston, right? Go to, go to Washington. Go to Washington. The reason he wanted to leave is because Scott Brooks left. Like, he wanted to go follow his coach. He wanted to go win games. And all of a sudden, he leaves because they don't keep Scott Brooks. And so if anyone in basketball is loyal, Russell Westbrook is loyal. I think that the owner of the Wizards is just salty because they haven't won in, in, in a couple years. They haven't been to the playoffs in, in, before he got there, before this man on the screen got there. Hadn't been to the playoffs in three years. Obviously, Al Alexander Ovechkin, superstar hockey player. But also, let's not forget, they won the Stanley Cup in 2018. Washington has not been winning. So he's salty because Russell Westbrook's trying to go win a championship. But Russell Westbrook is loyal. He's one of the most loyal players in basketball. Uh, I think Leonsis' comment is fair. But I don't think he's making the point he thinks he's making. I don't think he's aware of the point he's actually making. The point is he's comparing two leagues. He owns teams in, in each league. And he's taken the more popular league, the league with a far larger economy, the league that is, has far more cultural currency and relevance in, in, uh, in today, and, uh, and, and is growing faster, right, worldwide. He's taking that league and pointing out a difference with the way superstars behave. Now, I'm not suggesting that it's necessarily the case, that it's causal. Superstars have so much power in the NBA and therefore fans like it more. It's likely more correlation. One of the one of the outgrowths of the fact that it's so popular is that players have gotten powerful, right? But if you want to make the point that fans actually don't want like a sclerotic, they don't want like a, a, a league where things don't happen where play. I think a lot of the interest in the NBA is fueled by off-season and even mm -hmm. in-season rumors and, and actual transactions that go down where guys switch teams. It's exciting. So, so I understand his point. That's why I think it's a fair point. I just don't know that he knows the point he's actually making. He's pointing to a more popular league and pointing out something that is endemic to that league. Okay, okay, fine. The NBA and the NHL are different. Would you rather be more like the NBA or the NHL? Yeah, and he's pointing it out about a player who specifically stayed in a small market, like in Oklahoma City when James Harden left, he stayed. When Kevin Durant left, Russell Westbrook stayed. Like he signed an extra contract to stay. And so if you're going to talk about that with anyone, talk about it with about not being loyal with anyone besides Russell Westbrook. That, that, that's, my, that's my take. That's my piece. That's my opinion. Russell Westbrook, in my opinion, is the, is the model candidate, model citizen when it comes to being loyal to an NBA team. Okay, guys, we're going to hit one more subject before we get off the air because the Bulls, they're not messing around in free agency. Now it get, gets better with the franchise finalizing a sign-and-trade deal to acquire San Antonio Spurs forward DeMar DeRozan, a source telling ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski. Yesterday, DeRozan, oh, I'm sorry, DeRozan, he plans to sign a three-year, $85 million contract with the Bulls when the NBA's free agency moratorium is lifted Friday. In exchange, San Antonio will receive forwards Thaddeus Young and al Farouk Aminu from the Bulls, as well as a future first-round pick that also according to Adrian Wojnowski's source. 
Now let's not forget that there's guards Lonzo Ball and Alex Caruso also coming to the Bulls. So Max, yeah. with this roster transformation, what is the ceiling for the Bulls? Second round of the playoffs. I really like this. First of all, the mid-range game has been undervalued to the point where they give it to you in the playoffs and guys are eating. That's DeRozan, right? And the addition of Lonzo Ball, what team does he not make better? Rebounds for his position, plays perimeter defense, can, can do all kinds of stuff defensively to help you and without scoring the ball, but can also really shoot, takes a lot of threes, hits a lot of threes, and is a next-level IQ genius passer. That doesn't work next to an underrated guy like Zach Levine. And they have Vucevic, too. The Bulls are kind of loaded. I think they can win a playoff series this season. Max, bottom of the conference. Maybe they make it in the playoffs. Maybe they make it in the play-in. I'm not intimidated by anyone on this Bulls roster. Yes, they're better, but it's almost like that New York Knicks example you made. Uh, mm -hmm. Who are you really saying, man, this is a killer superstar. This guy is going to take us to the top. I don't see it. Well, Zach Levine can jump over the moon and shoot the lights out from outside. Well, like that, There's one. Vucevic is a load. He's a top three, four center in the East. Uh, uh, and then you just add DeRozan, who's been to multiple all-star teams, and Lonzo Ball is among the most underrated players in the league right now? That's a squad. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.